So a common problem that most artists tend to share is overthinking. Now there's many reasons artists overthink. For me, I overthink mostly because I compare myself to others. I compare my work and my art journey to others' art journeys. And in the end, by doing this, this makes me unhappy, it makes me anxious, it makes me feel like I'm not good enough, you know, all these negative things, right? And it just caused this pattern of overthinking about my art. And it creates a lot of fear, creates a lot of doubt. And then I spend all my time overthinking rather than actually putting effort in creating something, doing art. I just waste a lot of time overthinking. So I'd like to share with you some solutions that I've found over the years for dealing with this overthinking and this negativity. One of the first things I do, and it's really one of the most important, is to recognize that I'm overthinking. I know it probably doesn't sound significant, but trust me, it really is. Because there's been many times where I just get into this cycle of thinking and overthinking all day, questioning and doubting, and I didn't even realize that I'm, I'm causing this, I'm overthinking. My thoughts are in overthinking mode. And when I label it like that, like, okay, I'm overthinking. Now I realize like, what can I do about this? So then I try to locate the reason why I'm feeling this way, if I can possibly do that. And the reason is I'll be better able to respond to these feelings and these thoughts if I know why I'm having them. You know, usually it's better to have like a greater understanding of something so that you can figure out how to deal with it, how to handle it. And one of the ways I handle it is by talking with someone, uh, whether it's a significant other or some friends or family or even a therapist. I've done this for many years now since I've been an artist. I've always talked with a significant other or family members, really vented. It just feels so much better to get it out, you know, to just tell someone and have them understand. And even in the recent past, I've used an online uh, therapist from an app called BetterHelp. So not only is it good just with your art, but if you're going through anything in your life that's a big tragedy or a huge struggle, uh, it's good to just talk with somebody else. And BetterHelp is actually the sponsor for today's video, which I'm really excited about. And it's really great because I've used this on my own in the past and uh, I found it really beneficial for my life. So just wanna say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I first used BetterHelp when I was going through a breakup after a relationship for many years. Going through something like that just made everyday life very difficult. Then I found the BetterHelp app, got connected with a therapist on there, and I did weekly sessions like a few times a week for many months, probably seven or eight months, and it really helped me overcome a lot of the challenges and things that I was facing going through a difficult breakup. So if you think you might be feeling depressed, anxious, stressed, or overwhelmed, then BetterHelp is here to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. You can talk with your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. So you just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you get matched up with a therapist uh, in under 48 hours. From there, you just schedule secure video and phone sessions, and you can also exchange unlimited messages, uh, which are secure and confidential. You can also request a new therapist with no additional charge at any time. So join the two million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash SchaeferArt. It's also linked below down in the description. So yeah, I would definitely check out BetterHelp. Uh, I would personally recommend them. So let's talk about some more solutions for how to deal with overthinking. All right, so these next few are a little cliche, but they do work, so I'm gonna go into them. Uh, daily meditation, whether it's in the morning or night, even if it's just five minutes, 10 minutes, uh, it'll definitely help you with your thoughts. I've found for me, it really helps me understand my thoughts and realize that, uh, yeah, it's just thoughts. Doing yoga, exercise, or some kind of physical activity. This really helps. It's kind of like a physical form of meditation. Uh, and plus, it'll just make you feel healthier, make you feel better, uh, especially if you pair this with uh, eating healthy, staying hydrated, you're gonna feel a lot better. You probably won't overthink as much if you're focusing on some kind of physical activity. Or you could just go for a walk. Go around your neighborhood, get some fresh air, listen to the birds, listen to the breeze. Kind of realize and recognize the pace of nature, how everything is so slow. The world kind of slows down when you go out in nature. And I really like that, it's very calming, and I found it to be very helpful for overthinking. Taking a shower. I feel like when there's a time where I'm overthinking or I feel like I need to make a big decision about something, 
sometimes I go and take a shower because it's a place where there's no other outside stimulus. It's kind of this small little box where you can just, your thoughts just naturally just starts problem solving. I just feel like when I take a shower sometimes, I've solved a lot of problems and come up with a lot of good ideas uh, in the shower and it's really helped me with overthinking. Last but definitely not least is journaling. Write out everything in your head as long as it takes. Just sit there and write for five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Write out everything, every thought you can think of. And this is kind of a form of talking with somebody else, but if you don't have anyone to talk to, or if it's so personal you can't really talk with anyone else, or if you just feel like writing it out, it's, it's better to just get it out of your head in some way. And I found that journaling, writing everything out, whether it's physically writing it out with a pencil or on the computer journaling, uh, either one is beneficial. Just get it all out of your head and this will help to empty your mind. That way your brain doesn't get stuck in this kind of loop this kind of pattern of just constantly thinking the same thoughts over and over. Uh, once you get it out of your head, it'll kind of really help to stop the overthinking. So I'd love to hear from you. Post down below any kind of solutions you found to deal with overthinking and how you approach this. I'd love to hear from you. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.